Hi. Hey, you know, I'm often asked about individual mushrooms and what are they good for? How can they help my pet? So I want to go through a few mushrooms now. I'm going to start with reishi, also known as Ganoderma lingure. And reishi, 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 you can pronounce it how you want, um, is one of the oldest known mushrooms in use by human beings. In fact, its use predates written history by thousands of years. And it's called the mushroom of immortality, or the mushroom of longevity. And in ancient China, um, they, it was deemed a very, very valuable thing. It had good energy, and it invested upon the, uh, the owners of it um, immortality, long life, and health. And so as a tribute to the emperors of China, people would bring the largest Ganoderma, largest Rishi they'd find, and it would give the, the emperor a feeling that he had the power over life and death. Um, regardless of that myth, um, it does have a number of amazing um, constituents which do contribute to health um, and longevity. Uh, for instance, Rishi is considered to be an adaptogen. And adaptogens, as I mentioned earlier, are substances that help our adrenal glands and our bodies adapt to stress. And certainly in this very stressful age we live in, something like reishi could come in handy. And many mushrooms are also adaptogens. Perhaps you're familiar with ginseng or astragalus or ashwagandha, even licorice root. These are also considered to be adaptogens in the herbal world. But there are other interesting properties that reishi has. In addition to having a really strong content of beta-glucans, um, they, also, they also have other molecules in them that are called terpenes or triterpenes. And these molecules add to the value of the impact of the beta-glucans to produce even other benefits. For instance, reishi is known to have an antihistaminic effect. So oftentimes I will pair reishi with other supplements that I'm suggesting for a patient of mine who may have inhalant or seasonal allergies or even food allergies, although it does seem to work better for the inhalant and seasonal allergies. Um, also, you know, because of the beta-glucan content, it has a very strong anti-infective property, good for both acute chronic infections. Um, and what is really interesting about reishi is that in addition to all these immune modulating properties and, and, and anti-allergy properties, it also has a calming effect. I found this out myself. The first time I took quite a few capsules of reishi and it had a very calming effect on me. Now, these triterpenes that are found in reishi um, are really quite bitter. In fact, the only way that I can take reishi powder is in my espresso because the bitterness of the espresso really mellows out the bitterness of the reishi. Show and tell, I have this example. This is an actual real reishi mushroom. It attaches down here to the wood. Um, many mushrooms like to grow on dead and rotting wood. And you can see it almost has a lacquer-like finish, although it's not lacquered at all. This is just the dried mushroom. On the underside of this cap are all these pores. These pores are where the spores come out, so the mushroom can perpetuate its life cycle. So um, the best way, excuse me, the best way to take reishi though is not from the actual mushroom itself. It's quite woody, and you don't get the benefits of the beta glucans and the other constituents of reishi until you. Um, until you boil it for quite a bit of time in hot water, which helps to break down the cell walls and release all these valuable components. Really, the best way to take reishi is as a supplement, as an extract. That way you get all the goodies, but none of the stuff that your body doesn't need. So, if you, um, if you like you know, the information you're receiving on these videos, please um, subscribe. You know, so you can be informed of more videos because I will be producing many more of these. And if you have questions about Rishi, if you have comments, you'd like to share with us your own experiences using it in your animals or yourself or questions about its use, please use the comment form and I'll do my best to get back to you. So, coming up next, we're going to talk about the maitake, the hand in the woods mushroom. Stay tuned.